hi there everyone. Welcome to another Cardwell's Cauldrons here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today we're having a fun little, just, you know, green, black, red. I already forgot the name of that color, but <laughs> it's super fun. And of course we have to go three colors because it's just, it's just boring otherwise. But before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us and we love you very much for it. And the link will be down below. Today, we are playing Black Friday. And why is it called that? Well, it's because every creature has trample and we're going to get those cells. And we're charging in for the cells with our first dude. It's an almighty bushwag. It's a one green, one one trample. He's a limited all-star. So three and a green, all, he gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. And that's just fun little, just combat math for yep. the opponent. Slow to do a trample. Every one one with trample is always good just because you always just pump them up and be like, I don't care. Yeah. Giant they, growth, you're dying. They're not going to kill him at the start. So yeah. good. Next up is Gruul Spellbreaker. He's a red, green, and one for a 3-3 three, three with Riot, which for those that haven't seen Riot in a minute, right. is this creature in his battlefield of choice of a wall encounter or haste, and it has trample, and as long as it's your turn, you and Goblin Spellbreaker have hexproof. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't shunned this dude in a minute, but this dude is still a powerhouse. Oh yeah. Because he just doesn't care. The fact that they can't end a turn kill it when you play it, that gives you a little bit of advantage of time. Mm-hmm. The next one is Jim Razor. He's amazing. So it's three in the green, uh, four, four beast, but he has a mutate cost, which will probably always happen. It's one and two green. And with mutate, you apply on top a non-human creature and you can do it on top or bottom. It gets all of the abilities of that creature and him, but it has reach trample for some reason. And whenever this creature mutates, destroy target artifact and enchant or enchantment opponent controls. So it just kills a bunch of stuff, to be honest. There's still a lot of artifacts and enchantments out there. Yeah, naturalize as a creature, please. Yes. Uh, next is the Proud Wild Bonder. He is two and a red-green, red-green hybrid, so four mana total. He's a 4-3 trample. Creatures you control with trample have, you may have this creature assign this. It's combat damage as though it weren't blocked. Yeah. So all your dudes that have trample, which pretty much everyone does, yeah. you, they don't get blocked, essentially. I mean, they do get blocked, so they're still going to get their damage dealt back to them. Yes. But you get to not deal your damage to that creature, and they just take the damage. And that's what you have to remember. I've seen too many times in Limited when they just threw away all their creatures because of this. Yeah. When they're like, oh, I don't, oh, I, they take damage. They're dead. Yeah, your dudes still take damage back. Oh, yeah. And next one is why there's black in the deck is Spawn of Mayhem. It's two and two black, four, four. He has Flample, so he has Flying Trample. And he's just one of my older favorite creatures that never got used, but he has Spectacle. So, which is one and two black, and this triggers whenever the opponent has taken damage this turn. So, after combat, for sure. So, he can be cheaper. I like the Gym Razor. So, at the beginning of your upkeep, Spawn of Mayhem deals one damage to each player. Then if you have ten or less life, put a 1-1 counter on Spawn of Mayhem. So, he gets bigger to end the race really quick. He's really, really strong just because he's a 4-drop flyer that doesn't care. Yep. Next is Brokos, Apex of Forever. He is... We're not worrying about that cost. Blue, black, and green, and two for a 6-6. Six, yeah. six. He mutates for two, a black, and two green in this deck. Yep. So that is what you're playing this dude with is Mutate. He's got Trample. You may cast Brokos from the graveyard using its Mutate ability. Yeah. So he's always going to be able to come back into play, and you're always going to play it off of Mutate, and that's really all he's here for, just to be like, I'm a 6-6 Trample that doesn't care. Yeah. So if, like, late game you draw a Bushwhacker, you play Bushwhacker, and then apply this to Dude from the Graveyard, and now you can have a 10-10 yeah. later on when you swing. The next one is <laughs> Elder Gagaroth. It's 3 and 2 green, 6-6. Six, six. He has Vigilance, Range, Trample, and whenever it attacks or blocks, you get to choose one. Create a 3-3 three, three Beast uh, creature token. Gain three life or draw a card. That's what you want to do with green. Yeah. The value for five. This dude is disgustingly strong. Yeah, Just because yeah. he's got three abilities, period, as a 6-6. Six, six, and he just does extra value for you. For five. He should cost six, to be honest. But the yeah. power Cause works. Each of those abilities, doesn't matter what you do, you're going to get value. Yeah. Whether you gain life over and over or create dudes, you're going to win the race that way. Agreed. Next up is the Quartz Wood Crasher. He is two, two red and a green for a 6 6 trample. Whenever one or more creatures you control a trample, deals common damage to a player, create an XX green dinosaur beast creature token with trample. For X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt to that player. So, all of your dudes that get to deal damage, especially if you have the un unassigned block dude in yeah. play, you just get to do free damage. But regardless, 
You get to do a whole bunch of damage. You get to make a big dude. Yeah. The the dream thing would obviously have a, a couple of trample creatures. Have this go in the field, and then on that turn when you swing, you play the dude that doesn't assign combat damage to mm -hmm. the creatures. You swing, those dudes die, but you then you have a massive amount army of trampler dudes still. Yeah. So that's awesome. Uh, next one is Ram Through. It's one in a green instant. Target creature you control deals damage equal to the power to target creature you don't control. If that creature has trample, excess damage goes to the controller instead, which I think is a very under... It's under... It's amazing is what I'm trying to say. The fact that you can just kill that 2-2 two -two utility creature and then they take four damage. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's a two drop that fights, but it doesn't fight. Your dude only deals its damage and you get to trample over if you can. And the best thing about it is like if you swing with the trample creature, they block. Then you just have that creature fight that dude. They take XX damage and then your dude still goes through and they just thought they had won a battle pretty much. Oh yeah, before blocks. Yeah, before, before damage. Before damage. Uh, next up is Thrash and Threat. It is Thrash's red-green hybrid, red-green hybrid, so two mana of either of those colors. Instant, target creature you control deals combat damage, deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Or Threat, which is red-green and two. Sorcery, create a 4-4 red and green beast troop with trample. Just in case. So, helps you get dudes or kill a dude. Mm -hmm. Most of the time you're going to want to use this to kill a dude, but it is what it is. Next one, of course, is Bedeviled, because I love this card. It's two black and a red. Instant, destroy target artifact, creature, or planeswalker. And we only have one black kill spell in here just because black is a very weak color in it, but I thought we'd go ahead and use it, and we have Bedeviled now. And of course, that that is the deck. It's small, compact, and uh, we have just the lands, which we have all the shock lands. So we have Blood Crypt, we have Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, Overgrown Tomb and Stomping Ground. Then we have Fable Passage to match the other things. And of course, as a rule on Geektopia Island, we have no temples. So we have the basics of the swamp, uh, mountain, and forest. With that, that, that is the deck. Hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island, and you have a good day. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below, then subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.